Mickey Mouse Club alumna Christina Aguilera. Christina Aguilera's budding teen star. Teen genie Christina Aguilera. This is her lifelong dream. Yes, she's beautiful. She's one of the greats. Yes, she's a fabulous dancer. Got the sister that sings, and you know, she's gonna make it someday. She's at the top of her class. But more than anything, she's an incredible vocalist. I'm a genie in a bottle, baby. Come, come, come on and let me out. Well, I was born in Staten Island, New York. We traveled quite a bit. My father being in the military, I traveled around a lot. He was a, um, in the Army at the time. From New York, Pennsylvania, Texas, New Jersey, Japan for three years. When she was little, she didn't play like other kids in the sense that, you know, I'm going to be a nurse, I'm going to be a secretary, I'm going to be a pilot. It was always, always entertainment. I like adore Julie Andrews and the sound of music. That, I think, actually started everything. I would just sing to this over and over, and I'd imagine that I had, like, an audience. The hills are alive with the sound of music. Whenever Maria, like, came out and she was on the hills, she just, it's so cheesy, but she just looked so free to me. My grandma was actually the first one that realized this is like something more than just something that a kid likes to do. Even though I knew she could sing well, unusually well, um, I, for some reason it just didn't dawn on me and my mom said, oh my gosh, would you listen to her? Everybody's searching for you, people need someone to look up to. It was what I latched on to because of the fact that my parents did, were separated later on and divorced. It's like I had to witness a lot of, you know, arguments at times and things like that. And it was my way of, of getting out of that situation. When I left uh, the marriage, I moved from Fort Dix back home with my mother in Pennsylvania. As I got older, it became a real form of release. On my worst days, you know, it became something that I could release all my bad energy out through. You know, my voice was what I used to, to as, as my form of release, as my expression. At around ages six or seven, I was singing at like local pool parties, block parties. You hear a lot of stuff, oh, her mother must force her to go out there, because there's a lot of stage mothers out there, you know. And I was so determined not to be one of those, you know. But you want to see a grumpy kid, you let a few weeks go by when she was a little thing and no block parties were available. The same mothers and, and young people who heard her uh, during the elementary school talent show when she was in first grade. Nagged living daylights out of me to send in a tape to Star Search. It was a, it was a big thing back then, you know? Uh, we did it sort of as, oh, let's just see what happens. We didn't expect anything, and then we got the call back. Please give an international welcome to Christina Aguilera. I got out there, I was actually, it was funny what I wore. Um, I wore my mom's old, like, Disco going days shirt because it was like it was a shirt, but at eight years old it fit me like a dress. I was I was pretty happy when I walked off the stage, you know. All right, let's see what the judges have to say. Champion Christopher Eason. Congratulations. I was really upset, like pretty much as soon as I got off the stage. And she was just so crushed backstage, you know, just crying and everything. I said, hey, you gotta go shake his hand. And it's like tears running down my face at eight years old. I was like, congratulations, I'm really happy for you. And then the whole bottom started falling out with the people in the town. People started changing and uh, alienation sort of began. As each year progressed, it got worse and worse. And she tried to keep it to herself and she tried not to talk about it. So it was like a small town and, you know, I just lived a completely different lifestyle than what my peers were at, in school. And, and you know, it, it, it causes, you know, uh, certain, certain problems. By the time we reached about sixth grade, she couldn't stand it. She was having nightmares. We were getting threats. My phone had to be tapped. 
And it's like I couldn't win either way because it's like, oh, so sing for us, Christina. And I'd be like, well, come on, you guys, we're hanging out. Let's, you know, let's not do this. If I would sing, they'd be like, oh, well, she, look, she's bragging again. Da -da 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 -da. She's singing what she does on stage all the time. And then if I wouldn't, it would be like, oh, well, she thinks she's too good to sing for us. Finally, by sixth grade, we had to move because I just couldn't put her through it again. Plus, it was getting kind of scary. It was ridiculous. So we moved to Wexford. One day I was reading, either me or my mother, I can't remember which, we were reading the um, Pittsburgh newspaper and ran across this tiny, tiny little ad that talked about an open audition for the Mickey Mouse Club. It was so many different kids and it was just cut after cut after cut and it took all day long. I, I'd gotten every cut, every cut I passed. So we went home feeling really great but then you never hear anything. Never heard anything. I knew, basically, that, you know, no one's calling, so I didn't make it. Something like two years later, she gets a call back that they had held on to her tape. Oh, well, before she was too young to be on the show, but now, you know, being 12 years old and whatever, we want her to come back and audition again. Oh, gosh, she just lost it. She was jumping up and down, and she cried. She was so happy. He's like, oh, my God. I totally like, you know, freaked out. It was really, really cool. And then from there I packed my bags and I went with my mom and sister and to Orlando. When we come back, Christina becomes a part of a group of child stars earmarked for fame. Part of the new cast, part of the six new cast was me. And then there was Justin from NSYNC that you know now and Britney Spears. For Christina Aguilera, a spot on the Mickey Mouse Club was the beginning of a dream come true. But following that dream would mean family upheaval, unexpected disappointment, and taking some very big chances. Part of the new cast, part of the six new cast was me, and then there was Justin from NSYNC that you know now, and Britney Spears. You couldn't separate Britney and Christina. I mean, they were best friends. There were like, so many other kids that all of a sudden loved performing and loved entertaining, and it was such good energy with to be around that. Well, see, my parents are clowns. We throw pies all the time, at dinner time, on vacations, uh, family reunions. We were getting prepared to go back to start filming the third year. I was all excited, I was getting ready to go, and then, you know, all of a sudden it, can it was canceled. She actually got the very final word when the decision was made by phone, and she just started crying. 